So with this context, uh, let me first invite uh, uh, Mr. Sai Prakash uh, to deliver his uh, no thoughts, perspectives on how he looks. You know, he, he manages uh, a large institution uh, here out in Chennai and no several thousands of no more than 10,000 students are there in that uh, campus and you no know, with all his uh, no institutions put together you no know, uh, schools colleges I think he runs you no know, several institutes he runs several industries he's part of uh, you no know, some manufacturing sector according to me he's a multi-dimensional personality i would not uh, tell uh, mr sai as an academic leader only because he is he is also you know predominantly running a lot of industries so that you no know, it will be good to hear from him on both the sides so with this let me you know welcome dr sai and uh, the request you to uh, not address this gathering uh, mr sai thank you mr amdu and it's a uh, great pleasure and honor to uh, address uh, the uh, uh, this forum it's uh, mainly of uh, educators as uh, anbu pointed out uh, we had this uh, industry 4.0 bus which is going around all, all over the globe and people are talking about uh, 4.0 where we have crossed uh, the uh, uh, the missionary age and then we have moved on to mass production and then we are into robotics now this uh, industry 4.0 actually it should be with uh, iot artificial intelligence and uh, everyone was talking about the skills of uh, the future but uh, suddenly uh, last two to three months what we are seeing is uh, uh, never expected and uh, these three months have uh, taught us a lot than what we have learned in last 20 years the 20 years has been uh, a, a digital era if we have been talking about digital implementation but only it was happening in uh, the forums and only in the bridge conferences and many of the conferences it was happening but in last two months this has penetrated a lot into every segment uh, especially education the classroom teaching was the predominant uh, methodology of uh, teaching but in uh, the last one 1.5 months what we are seeing is completely we have transformed into digital and this happened only because of this uh, covid 19 and uh, it's a blessing disguise uh, yesterday when our uh, prime minister was addressing he was uh, talking about uh, the uh, lockdown 4.0 so uh, let us get prepared of these things so uh, as uh, ICT academy has uh, completed four seasons this season is going to be the future of skills what are the uh, skills which is required for uh, future i i was just thinking about what to uh, talk i'll just uh, share um, thanks anbu i think you are sharing so uh, the industry 4.0 the next slide is uh, everyone will be thinking about uh, the industry 4.0 industry 4.0 is going to be the future and all those things uh, that uh, word 4.0 got stuck that uh, 4.0 is now uh, locked down when you think see now uh, the self driving cars autonomous vehicle uh, the quantum physics if if you people are uh, able to see the movie uh, avengers all these things which has been there in the uh, uh, hollywood movies is now happening in the reality so let us now this is not uh, belonging to only the science fiction and the hollywood directors it belongs to every human being every individual has to be so every individual is uh, talking about it and uh, everyone has started to mobile phone utilization has uh, penetrated a lot the data transmission we have to thank geo where uh, the uh, things have uh, changed a lot now our students are able to learn from uh, nook and corner that's what it is so this 4.0 of lockdown will teach us more about the future uh, the uh, the, in uh, it's, it's mark uh, industry 4.0 going to 4.0 is going to be in a lightning speed where we have to cope up with that and we have to learn things so i will just show you a few things what we have been doing in our sairam institutions we have been into uh, engineering uh, medical and we have been into uh, all those uh, so uh, digital implementation in sairam we started our uh, complete online uh, admission procedure uh, way from uh, 2011 so it's been a decade now we have been completely online and we have an in-house uh, portal okay fine so this edumat portal has a complete data of our uh, students where uh, their marks and their analyze so in the last uh, one and a half months our teaching methodology have changed completely where we have been using the technology and uh, the, we have to thank uh, the see uh, 20 years before video conferencing has become it's very uh, costly and uh, it's an uh, expensive uh, criteria now we have we were able to address uh, around 5000 people uh, from an uh, comfort of a home 
So this technology has to be utilized in a better way. That's what even our Prime Minister was addressing yesterday. We want to create this is the right time for India to make right things. So we have an opportunity. We are one point. We have a billion of people and we are the youngest country in this world. So we have a lot of potential. Only thing we have to upskill our youngsters and we have to make sure that they are. So we have been doing that all our classrooms and the webinar classroom, even our faculties have been equipped. We had an hesitation of this digital implementation earlier. Few people were not comfortable, but this pandemic has created and it has made all the myths wrong. I, everyone is taking classes in online and uh, to our surprise, students are giving more. See, this is a millennium kids. They want something new. They want something different and their concentration limit is not more than 10 minutes. So you have to grab them and you have to make sure that they are listening to you. So that's what it is happening. And we have been uh, constantly uh, in association with MHRD. Uh, there are a lot of uh, skill upliftment which is given by MHRD. The Ministry of uh, Skill Development is uh, happening. AIM, Atal Innovation Mission. So yes. this uh, Google Classroom, which has been uh, started five years before by Google, we have to thank them. And they have given a uh, G Suite account for all the students and all the faculty members of a college. Where uh, th th This is a, a, a CSR initiative which has been done by uh, Google. We have to make use of these things effectively. Recently, AICT has uh, started uh, to conduct online uh, contest where uh, the students have been uh, requested to given solution for this pandemic where everyone is in a crisis. They, they are allowing the young minds to think a lot, young minds to make progress. Uh, this innovation and you cannot force innovation. I strongly believe in that innovation has to happen on its own. So the students, those who are interested to make progress, they have a tremendous opportunity in current scenario. There are a lot of initiation which has been taken by government and many institutions are encouraging students to um, make progress in the way they have to. Uh, marks is not a criteria. I, I, uh, all the HRs uh, were now asking only the skill sets what you are possessing. So marks, everyone is going to have their mark card. Everyone is going to have their uh, their own uh, skill sets. But what is uh, the uniqueness that you have? What is the uh, unique difference that you can make to the company? What the best that you can contribute? That's what they are looking forward and that's what they are uh, meant to. So the teachers, MHRD Innovation, uh, the Institute of Innovation Council is now giving a lot of opportunity for our students and the faculties. Next. So uh, we have been conducting uh, all our examinations now in uh, Google Classroom. So uh, uh, to our surprise, we have 97 to 99 percent of our uh, students are uh, submitting their uh, assignments and they are uh, taking their examination online. They are presenting their uh, things. So uh, teachers are communicating. So this digital is made easier, convenient for both faculties and students. So that's what it is. And recently, I'm proud to say that uh, we have been associated with uh, Coursera. Already all our students have been enrolled for uh, AMCAT and uh, the uh, next racer. So this is a uh, contest which has been and we have been conducting in uh, webinars. We have been conducting a lot of uh, the, uh, our alumni. We have a strong alumni base of 15,000 students who is uh, working around uh, all over the globe. So they are contributing. Uh, recently, one of our alumni was working for uh, R&D in uh, BMW German, he, he has uh, given a uh, contribution. There is an uh, there, there is a huge shift in the what company was looking forward and what is the happening around. They they have changed their mindset now. This digital learning is going to be a great opportunity for the students. So these are the things which are given. Coursera next slide, sir. So AMCAD will be uh, making a complete analyze of uh, students. What are the skills they already possess and what are the skills they can upgrade themselves? We have a skill -like platform which is giving an uh, coding skills for the students. There are a lot of uh, opportunity for them. Salesforce and Pega, thanks to ICT Academy for getting uh, Salesforce uh, into our campus. And now we got uh, 5,000 courses. I just uh, want to share that. Next slide. Sir. So the course era, they have given 5,000 license. Uh, thanks to my students and uh, faculty members, all the 5,000 has been utilized completely. So uh, we, uh, this is uh, from May May 5th, we have enrolled that. So uh, 46,000 courses have been enrolled so far and 22,000 hours of learning is happening online. So we can, in this digital, we can even monitor what is the progress. And the next slide, if you see, uh, we have 91% uh, of students who have enrolled and 99 learners are active. 
99% is uh, what Coursera says that if it is 70% and above, it is a uh, remarkable achievement. But uh, our students have made it 90%. I have to thank my uh, students and faculty for uh, creating an history in that. So this is the time where we can give a lot of opportunity. This is a recent uh, um, certification from uh, MHRD where they have opened a competition online for uh, this uh, crisis COVID-19 where our students have taken part and uh, we have got an, uh, a sixth place in all India level. That's a great achievement by our students again. So this this is possible only because we have given tablet for all our faculties uh, Sairam we have uh, in our silver jubilee. So in uh, last uh, teachers day September 5th, we have given an uh, um, tab for all our uh, Lenovo tab for all our faculty members. When we circulated that, we never thought this is going to be the crisis and we are going to land in this situation. But those kind of uh, small step forward had made a great change in this uh, thing. And uh, even uh, so earlier, uh, there was a restriction of using mobile phone in the classroom. But we, we, we have been forced to bring uh, mobile phone into the class. So that's, that's the change which we have to accept. These are the center of excellence, which is there in our campus, where all these center of excellence, our, some of our students have been placed in reputed companies. Accenture, they have taken a, a step forward and they have uh, boarded all the placed students virtually. So they have also started to take it. So there is, there is a panic where all these uh, 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 students who have been given offer will be honored or not. If you are really skilled, there there is an, plenty of opportunity which is available for you so these are the center of excellence in our campus and uh, this year we have introduced artificial intelligence and uh, data science uh, in our course we have started a uh, new course with uh, computer science and uh, business uh, system so these are the upcoming courses but i will set, uh, set these all in one side uh, and these are the other uh, ppt yes sir. so these are the things which is required for future there is no second thought about it. Uh, you have to learn artificial intelligence. You have to have uh, all those uh, IoT, big data, the uh, blockchain, uh, cryptocurrency. All these are mandatory. You cannot move away from them. You cannot step aside from that. So this is going to be industry 4.0 is going to happen. And even industry 5.0 will happen. All this will be taken care by their technology. So what an individual, what an, as a human, nothing can replace human being. That's that's uh, true. You have to possess and uh, there is a lot of uh, complexity. There is a lot of uh, uh, things which has to be uh, still artificial intelligence have not taken, play, uh, taken over uh, human being. The thinking capacity of artificial intelligence is uh, uh, still, it's, it's so the complex solving problem, the, uh, the complex problem solving can be done only by human. So you have to, uh, that's what, uh, I feel that uh, we have uh, the best of the best uh, minds here, the educators. So these are the 10 important skills, which is important. See, I strongly feel the moral and ethical values, which has been taught in schools and colleges have been somewhat uh, deviated and uh, those things are not being done. We are more focused about the technology. We are more, of course, it is required. But uh, this problem solving and critical thinking when see this pandemic has created and uh, almost it, it, it has put a pause button for every country, only the country which was uh, ready with the technology, even uh, if you take China, China, they add the penetration of artificial intelligence uh, to all their citizens, they monitor their citizens with the mobile app, even uh, government of India, they have started the uh, ROK Sedu app where that the app is monitoring your movement, the app is monitoring your, so that kind of implementation when it is required, that kind of critical thinking should happen and you have to make sure that it is utilized in a proper way. So uh, then uh, creativity, that uh, uh, yeah, artificial intelligence can give what you are searching for, but the creative thinking can be done only by human. Yes, it, uh, this will help you. The IoT will help you. The uh, uh, all the technology. Will, the technology is for your upliftment, and the technology is for making you better. So don't get conquered to, uh, to the technology. Uh, uh, solve some uh, problems. Uh, have some puzzles. Uh, remember the telephone numbers. I I feel that 
most of our students are not having more than two or three mobile numbers in their uh, mind registry everything is stored in the mobile so the, we have to allow them to think and we have to make sure that our brain cells are always active and people management that's an art so managing people and motivating people uh, most of the things is taken care by robotics but uh, without uh, people involvement people's uh, engagement you will not be able to achieve so you have to have a strong skill for people management and collaborating and coordinating with the others so uh, there will be different uh, departments there will be lot of uh, 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 team leader manager they have been given lot of schedules in that so you have to make sure that you are encouraging people motivating people there will be some see uh, missions will never get uh, depressed mission will never get uh, tired but human do so you have to understand their feeling you have to ultimately we have to extract what from them ultimately we have to achieve what we want so we have to make sure that we are emotionally connected to them and we are making that uh, you have to go and get things what you want for that you have to be clear what is the other people thinking what is their requirement is so make sure that uh, this emotional intelligence it's, it's been eradicated from our society people are not thinking about what others are thinking people are not uh, making an uh, thing uh, uh, we we have been into a society which is driven by uh, targets so we need targets and we have to make sure that we are capable of achieving that target we have to upskill all those things so that judgment and decision we have to yes we, we uh, last year uh, we got a nrf ranking for both our sairam engineering college and sairam institute of technology we have set the target and we have we have we are not focusing on getting the ranks we made sure that we are eligible for the rank and we made all those things in our campus we have been uh, nac accredited we have been uh, autonomous and all those things these will fetch what you want don't go with the targets you have to progress along the target so founder the founder chairman uh, my father uh, used to say this uh, education any industry it's an service oriented you cannot make a business 100% business it should be an uh, service oriented business if you do it as an 100% service you will not be able to make money if you are going to do this 100% as an uh, business that is not ethical so everything what you do should be a service oriented so uh, that skill is missing somewhere in this uh, society we have to make sure that people are processing that and uh, we have planted around 1 lakh trees uh, kalam sir has appreciated that and then we have planted uh, more trees we we have been constantly even in this covid we have been supplying uh, foods for uh, needy so these things are required as even for a single person if you can contribute that's and great so you please teach your students also you please make sure that they are also uh, getting into this uh, now don't care policy have become too heavy in this uh, uh, situation and this covid have really given a lesson for us let, let us learn let us make sure and this negotiation even uh, with uh, students when we uh, go and approach students uh, you have to do this there will be a difficulty with this come on let's do that there will be a great uh, collaboration which will happen and you will definitely be able to do wonders so make sure that uh, you uh, our uh, even now uh, every day we, we have requested i made a small request to our uh, seniors uh, the third year and final years those, those who are strong in coding if you have time you please uh, teach our uh, first year students in the coding so we started with one hour class now they have requested for two hours actually it planned for uh, three days uh, uh, but it is wrong for an uh, seven day classes uh, there is a lot of interaction which has started now the first year students those who are with biology the, are more interested to coding so these were not possible in the classroom it is happening now so make use of this time make effective thinking so this kind of uh, skills which uh, these are not new skills this the uh, 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 flexibility you have to be flexible what what so these are not these have been our ancient skills these have been our technologies these have been so much of uh, people have been thought about it we have been slightly migrated this is just a strength of our indians uh, indians possess all the 10 skills so we were uh, been the best in all this 10 skills where we want to make sure that these are the skills which is required now these are the major skills uh, yes iot artificial intelligence uh, machine learning or big data ar vr 
all this technology will exist and you need to possess these skills but i strongly feel that the skills which is needed in this 2020 the to post covid which is going to be new normal people are saying that new normal uh, the, the, the normalcy have become uh, very different so we have to think beyond what we are capable of we have to make sure that our students are so these skills have to be implemented to students and we have to make a great change this is the time for india to make a giant leap where uh, uh, many uh, manufacturing industries are looking for an right opportunity to step out from the country uh, china or uh, taiwan or uh, us market many people yesterday tesla they have given a statement that they want to move out of california apple already they have given a statement they have to move out of china so uh, they are looking for an opportunity and a new land uh, this land is available we have enormous skills with our uh, younger generation but only thing is we have to make sure that we think beyond our limits we make uh, this country proud progress and we have to achieve which is not possible always have a target which is not possible that's what uh, dream big uh, as kalam sir said dream big make big changes and make a an, uh, great effort and uh, finally uh, this uh, 17 goals uh, which has been given by un united nation uh, anbu sir in that uh, sairam you have that 17 goals so no poverty zero hunger and good health and well being the most important is good health and well being which is required by every citizen in this globe uh, quality education all those things have been uh, given by uh, united nations clean water and uh, sanitation this 16 we have made sure that all our final year project is aligned with some of the goal it can be either one or two but it should be aligned with one of the goal affordable and clean energy yes engineers has to make that affordable and clean energy good work and uh, decent uh, the economy so we need to give uh, work for people and we have to make things have to progress so let us all pledge today that we will possess all the skills which is required for technology and possess all the skills which is to be a true human so let us make the future brighter stronger and let us all pray for a better india thank you so thank you sir. thank you very much for that uh, no real uh, powerful one so thank you very much sir. thank you so much for your wonderful uh, insightful presentation many people are asking your presentation i, I think we should uh, you know share your presentation to everybody if you already can. shared with you it will be a pleasure to share with the others. Thank you very much, sir. Thanks a lot, sir. Thanks a lot, sir. Thank you. Thank you.